we want to welcome you to the um, Barwick South, South Drive Segura and Gorman Water and Sewer Improvement Community Design Meeting. Zach is your project manager, and I'm going to pass this to Zach. Thank you, Sally. All right, thank you everyone for attending the meeting. The agenda for today's meeting uh, will be introduction, and then we'll go over the project overview, and we'll show the project area, and we'll answer some of the frequently asked questions, and at the end, we'll show the timeline for the project. Your project management team includes myself, Zach Zucker Salehi, and my phone number is 817-392-8695. My email address is abolfazl.zakersalehi at fortworthtexas.gov. And our engineering design consultant is a stream water group and their PM is Arifin Shamsul, who are also on this call. So why are we doing this project? Uh, City of Fort Worth prioritizes replacing water and sewer lines that have a high risk of failure. And we assess the risk of failure based on the available data, which includes the water main break history, leak history, CCTV camera inspection, age of the line material that line was built from, lead service lines and cast iron lines. So, um, what drives this project? Um, this project is focused on replacing cast iron water lines on South Drive, Barwick Drive, Gorman Drive, and Segura Court. To address the frequent main breaks, Fort Worth Water Management has committed to replace a minimum of, uh, minimum of 20 miles of cast iron pipe per year. And there are currently 55 miles of cast iron mains in different stages of design and replacement. And we'll continue to replace these cast iron lines until we don't have any of those in our system. What parts of the uh, Fort Worth uh, does this project impact? Uh, this, uh, this project is located within Council District 6 and construction will impact the overturn south and Foster Park Neighborhood Associations. And the boundaries of this project uh, will be Southwest Loop 820 to the north, Granbury Road to the east, Found Drive to the south, and Partridge Road to the west. The Wedgwood Six Square Campus is uh, located north of the South Drive Belden Avenue intersection. Here we have the map of the project. On the north side, we are bound uh, on South Drive. We are uh, doing the water and sewer from West Haven on the south side till um, Southwest Loop 820 on the north side. On Barwick Drive from Partridge Road to South Drive, that's water and sewer replacement. On Gorman Drive, we're going from South Drive to Granbury Road. Again, water and sewer replacement. On Segura Court, we're going from north to south, which includes the entire loop of Segura Court, uh, water and sewer replacement. Some of the questions you might have is that, uh, will our water will be turned off? So water will be turned off for roughly 15 to 30 minutes. When the service is tra transferred from the existing line to a temporary line, and then one more time when we are transferring from the temporary line to the new line. The switch overs are done during the day, and the contractor will knock on the door and will let the customers know when the water will be turned off. The transfer will take roughly 30 minutes per house or per business, and um, we, you will have a heads up as as you mentioned. Excuse me. How does the temporary line impact my home and water bill? The, the temporary line ensures that you are not without water during the construction. In the summer months, the continuous flow keeps the water from becoming stagnant in the above ground line. And during the winter months, winter months, water must be continuously flowing through the temporary line to keep the line from freezing. 
So it's advised that you keep your faucets dripping to make sure we have continuous flow uh, in the temporary line. The bill <coughs> for your water usage while you're on the temporary line will be based on the average of uh, previous months. Will you need uh, access to our property during the construction? Uh, construction will be in the streets and easements. If City of Fort Worth needs access to your property, we will contact you. And if an easement is needed for your property, a city land agent will be contacting you soon. Will sewer services be disrupted? Sanitary sewer will not be interrupted. The new sewer cleanout will be installed at the property or easement line. And the sewer cleanup will provide us uh, easy access if a backup or a blockage happens. Will I have access to my driveway during construction? When we get to the construction phase, the inspector and the contractor will work with businesses and residents who need driveway access during active construction hours. How are you going to coordinate traffic during construction? We will have a traffic control plan in place before the contractor starts the work. Will the city's trash truck uh, pick up my trash and recycling? If your side of the street is closed on your scheduled trash collection day, the contractor will take your trash and recycling carts to the opposite side of the street so the trash collection vehicle can pick it up. Will, will there be any lane closure? During construction, yes, since uh, most of this project is within the street li limits, we expect lane closures and we'll post signs uh, to, alert, to alert motorists from lane closures. What are the construction hours? The hours of construction are 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., Monday through Friday. And if requested by contractor, uh, we might allow 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. on Saturdays. The <clears throat> timeline for this project. Um, so we are still in design phase for this project, and we'll have more information after the contractor is approved by City of Fort Worth Council. We'll uh, host a reconstruction meeting with the contractor to set the start date for construction and to create a schedule for the street that will be impacted. We will host the community meeting, uh, construction meeting before the contractor breaks grounds. Where I can get more information, you can go to the City of Fort Worth uh, official website, fortworthtexas.gov, and type in the project number, which is 103434 in the search bar on the um, right hand side. And once you search that number, 103434, the project page will pop up. And uh, the name of this project is Barwick South Drive Segura and Gorgon Water and Sewer Improvement. And on that page, we'll have all the information related to this project and including this meeting, uh, a link to video of this meeting. And also you can subscribe to the page at the bottom of the page, and then um, you will get updates whenever we post anything on that project page. A link to a PDF of this PowerPoint and a link to a YouTube video of this presentation will be posted on this project page. How do I report an emergency or non-emergency? For emergencies, including water main breaks, sewer backup, you can report those 20 hours a day, 24 hours a day at 817-392-4477, and you need to select option one. For non-emergencies, you can report them to the same number, 817-392-4477. And those are during our working hours, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. And uh, for non-emergencies, they're closed on uh, city holidays. You can also down, download the My Fort Worth apps from App Store or Google Play. And you can report sewer overflows, leaks and water main breaks, missing or broken meter leads, water theft, water violations, no water services, water pressure issues, and other sewer concerns through that My Fort Worth app. Once again, 
uh, I'm the project manager for this project. And my direct phone number is 817-392-8695. My email address is abofazl.zakersalehi at fourhorsetaxes.gov. And with that, we are ready for questions. Before we start the questions, um, if you want to see the PDF of this PowerPoint, I just uploaded it to the project page. So you can go to fortworthtexas.gov, type in 103434 in the search okay. bar, and that will take you to the page. Yeah, that, that's the website, and that's the number for this project. Okay. I'm going to unmute call in user two. Okay, caller user three and caller user four. Do y'all have any questions about the design phase? No, thank you. Okay. Caller user three or caller user four? Okay, um, if there are no questions, usually we can get the video of this meeting up on the project page by five o'clock on the following day. So uh, if you want to check back, you can watch the video. Um, if you'll just, give just went to the video. page. When, yep. when, is it, when is the project plan to start? We go ahead, Beth. So, yeah, we are still in uh, design phase. We are close to 90% of design. We are planning to start early next year, but that could change. So to make sure we're giving you the right date, we'll have another pre-construction meeting and we'll, we'll send out uh, invites. We'll have a better uh, timeline at that time, but for now we are looking into early next year. Okay, gotcha. So like during the winter time, possibly? Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Call on user four while I've got you on there. Actually, all three of you, if you can give me your name and address, we'll make sure that you get a copy of this. Uh, sure. This is uh, Matt Lee at 4801 Willow Run Court. How do you spell the last name? Is it just L E E? Correct. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, the other two that called in? I'm Kathy Raines. R-A-I-N-E-S? Correct. Okay, and your address? 5208 Stacy Avenue. S-T-A-C-Y? S-T-A-C-E-Y. E-Y Avenue, okay. That's 5208, okay. And our third one? We still have our third caller. Um, is that me? I think so. Um, I'm Marge Wellman. M A R G E. Okay. Last name W E L L M A N. Okay. I'm on Cordova Avenue. I'm sorry, you cut out on me. Cordova Avenue. Okay. All right. Okay, and like uh, like Zach said, we'll come back to you um, during the construction phase, and we'll have a whole lot more information then about, like he was talking about, the when construction will start and where it will start. So, if you want to go to the project page now, the um, PDF of the PowerPoint is up. Again, if you'll give me until probably Wednesday at 8, we'll have the video of this meeting up as well. Oh, Any other questions? How to get to the project yeah. page? Uh, go to www.fort, it's all spelled out, F O R T, worth tx.gov. I'm sorry, Texas. Fort Worth, Texas.gov. Texas. <laughs> <laughs> I've abbreviated it for you. And okay. Go, you'll look at, go look at the top of the page, there's a search bar. 
that find almost anything on our website, just type in 103-434. Okay. And it should come pop up for you. Now, um, why didn't that password work for the um, WebEx? Do you know? I don't know. I, I pulled up um, what was on the EVI, and that was correct. And um, so we don't know if we're having issues with WebEx because that should have worked. It was the correct password. Um, oh. but we, we have had an issue at least once before this. Okay. So if you can spread the word to all your neighbors, um, I will also send this information out to the neighborhood associations that we contacted Saturday. Okay. okay. Um, all right, thank you. You're welcome, anybody yeah, else? One of those, one of those groups. That's the Overton South. I know a lot of people are in the Overton South area. It was Overton South, and I think Foster Park. Yes, perfect. That makes sense. Thank you very Sounds much. Good. Okay. Have a good evening. Thank you all. Appreciate it. This was a helpful first step. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah.